It's the Full Force News Burst, brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Hasbro discusses the upcoming AAA G.I. Joe computer game from Rally Durham Studio. The CEO of Wizards of the Coast, Chris Cox, and Senior Vice President of Hasbro, Debbie Hancock, attended this year's Jeffrey's Virtual Global Interactive Entertainment Conference, or JVGEC for short. I made that up. To discuss a number of topics regarding the brand, but most importantly for us, the upcoming AAA G.I. Joe computer game from the newly established Rally Durham Studio. They introduced Ames Kirshen as the creative director of the studio, who has previously worked on the Batman Arkham series, Injustice Gods Among Us, and Spider-Man 2, to name but a few huge hits. Mr. Kirshen had this to say about the upcoming G.I. Joe game. When we think about G.I. Joe, we think about the consumer who was 12 years old in 1990 or 1995, when G.I. Joe was like one of the biggest toy brands in the world. We're thinking about, okay, what would they like G.I. Joe to be today as a 35 or 40 year old? We've been thrilled with the response to some of the early concepts, how we're maturing the brand, and how we're keeping some of the core DNA, but taking it in bold new directions. We are thinking that there's an amazing opportunity for that. This sounds very positive and rather exciting, especially seeing as a top level G.I. Joe game has really been a high priority for fans for many years. We've had plenty of fun games with short lifespans in recent memory, but we certainly haven't experienced a game on the level that is being discussed here. I really enjoyed Operation Blackout, but alas it does lack longevity and it might be a while before I go back to it again. A AAA game like this could give G.I. Joe a very good basis to push other things like animation, toy line tie-ins, and could bring new fans into the fold as well. Failing all of that, it will be cool to have a super high quality and somewhat more open world type of format to explore and really enjoy. I'm looking forward to seeing more concept art for this project and eventually a trailer or gameplay footage. We will have to wait a while for that however, but I am willing to do so in order to get a proper good game out of the bargain. Right, I'm off to play the original arcade game for the 860 trillionth time to get in the mood again. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force